action again for Howe. Avoids a sack. Extends the play. Fires one into traffic. Did he squeeze it through? J.C. Horn had a chance at a pick. Somehow the ball found its way to Daz Newsom for another big. Miller in the shotgun. Gets free on the edge. Braxton Miller is loose. Spin move. Miller headed for the end zone. You think he's made an impact in his first game at H-back? Again, I think people forgot how explosive Braxton Miller is with the football in his hands. When you get him out on the edge and you give him a little bit of room, this is what he can do to not just Virginia Tech, but anybody Ohio State plays. Watch this spin move. I think in the Madden, that might be the B button. Third down 10. Stepping up. Got some room. And hurdles. Going over him. That's a full flip. Lands on his feet, which actually... Wow. Carries him forward for the first down. Incredible. Yates to fire. Throwing for the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. McGowan from 22 yards. Down to tie it up right now. So we've got a lot on his plate. His defense has got to step up and make a play now. Davis through the progression. Intercepted at the 20. The receiver fell down. Nasrul Dean has the football. He's up to the 40. Broke a couple tackles. One man to get by for Nazrul Dean. And all the way to the end zone on the return. Well, receiver's going to fall down. And Nazrul Dean, who has been so good against the run, coming off a career day, more tackles last week against BC than any Noel in over 50 years. And here. It pays off through the air as well. Makes a few guys miss, and then he's got one big boy to give a little shake to. A nice hump. On third down, Lawrence to the air. Blitz picked up by Davis. Downfield, wide open, Justin Ross. Ross, a couple of great two moves. He is the future at Clemson, and you got a glimpse. Get used to this connection. Lawrence to Ross, these two here. Great protection in the pocket. And Lawrence showing off that million dollar arm as Ross with the wiggle after the catch. And what's most impressive, he's 6'4", 210 pounds. Subsequently going backwards. All right, so third and goal, ball spotted at the eight. Howell's gonna throw, backed off his feet. It is lobbed up there. I don't know how, but that was caught game you're ever going to see is the clock continues to tick under a minute. That's unreal. Honestly, I think it's an incomplete pass, too. I don't, don't sell us short. It looks so good. Well, I mean, I have to be objective. I mean, it, it's still unreal, but... Yeah, it could be. So here is Hockman with Houston in the backfield. Bailey loads and throws and broken up incomplete. Was it, in, was it intercepted? Roddy, this is two plays right here. They may need multiple looks at. Well, uh, if, if this is a catch, this is WRU material. It bounces around, gets caught in between his legs. It That's never okay. touches the ground. Okay. Finley fakes the toss, goes over the middle, and Jacoby Myers into space. Myers could go. Touchdown, NC State with a somersault. From 71 yards out. Now watch this as he takes that step up. He's able to slip the ball with a great pass. Now you'd think Derwin James in space. He's one of their more accountable guys as far as making that tackle. Give credit to number 11 Myers on that play. Of course, you can't do this in college. Got the play, but that's a heck of a stick. Hooker back, who told you Burmeister headed to the locker room. He fumbles the snap, coming in cold, and it's scooped up. Kendrick with a convoy. Can they chase him down? He gets to the end zone. A scoop and score for Clemson. 68 yards and a crushing turnover for the quarterback who came off the bench cold, hadn't played since the first series. Trying to get a feel for what might be happening here this time. He's just not able to handle the ball. He tries to recover it, gets hit, kept the ball free, and then Kendrick with the speed picks it up and takes it all the way to the... 
And this is about Bronco Mendenhall's comfort zone in terms of trying kicks. This is 29 yards. Oh, and now the Cavaliers are going to swing it to the left side, and they're going to throw for the tight end touchdown for Evan Bucks. There is a flag on the play. Connor Brewer, the backup quarterback, made the throw to Evan Butts. They're trying to get to those sticks. That's all that matters right there in that situation. Good job by Louisville to keep it alive. Pass the throw. What a catch. He held on. What a catch by Des Fitzpatrick. Third catch for Fitzpatrick might be the best of his life. <laughs> and he, and he, he's going to have control by securing it, tucking it on the helmet. Hello, anyone home? Is anyone home? I can't get service. And he held on to it. And the roll. Yeah. Take it short. Lateral. They practiced that on Wednesday. Time's going to expire on the game, so this either goes or it doesn't. Ball's still alive. It's got to be a backwards lateral. Get behind it. Still alive. Duke doing a nice job staying, staying spacing all over. Oh, he got, they got a block. blockers. They got blockers. They've got a lane. 40 yard line. No black shirts between the goal line. Can you believe what you just saw? A penalty flag is dropped for a block in the back. And now they're reviewing it. Will we have an untimed down? The penalty's on Miami. So the ACC officiating crew still looking this one over. And obviously they want to get it right. Yeah. It's a game deciding play. And uh, we talked about the implications earlier. This can decide who gets into the ACC championship game later on this season. Boy, it's never over till it's over, huh? That's why they say it. One. The thing that was amazing was how both of these teams, you could tell, had practiced this and worked on it and really had it covered, and it wasn't until at the end that. And the clock continuing to wind. Army and Coach Munkin have a, have a very scrappy club, as you see. Well, you, we just saw a dive <laughs> attempt similar to what we saw out of that Arkansas State player last week. Stephen Ricciardi. Oh, the fainting goat. He'll get used to the arms up in the air like, what? You're not going to throw the flag? He'll get used to it. Pressure on the edge. King steps up, gets away from it, has a receiver wide open. That's Harley. Spins his way into the end zone. Hey, man. Good job, Dear King, stepping up, finding space in the pocket, and just a wide open receiver for Mike Harley all the way down for a touchdown. Again, showing one high safety and press to the top of the screen. Blackman cuts it loose, middle of the field, breaking away Matthews. DJ Matthews cuts to the outside, and Matthews dies for the pylon. Touchdown! Got the safety in the middle of the field and then man to man across the board. DJ Matthews right there as we run it, just presses up and it's a slant route. One broken tackle, he gets up the field, makes the safety miss, and then he's got some friends. Makes another cutback, gets a block up there at the top, and then a dive. That Long as the second quarter gets started, over the top toward Ford, and Ford. Did he catch it? No, it gets knocked away. Now, it may not have hit the ground. Ford thinks he has it. He does. Wow. That ball pinballed around, I think, off the pit defender and then rolled right back onto Isaiah Ford. They're going to review this one, and they'll they'll be checking to see if the ball ever hit the yeah, ground. Yeah, and if it doesn't hit the ground, it's just whoever ends up with it at the end and has possession. It's amazing. It's just getting swatted and batted around, and it never hits the ground. It was a great job fighting for it, I thought, by Felipe Martin. That's our review. referee. The ruling on the field stands. The catch. Yeah, it's good fortune for Virginia Tech. Second down. 
Incomplete. Picked off. Picked off. It's still alive. Neely. He's got blockers. Neely still on his feet. And finally taken down from behind at the 30. I've got to see that again. Samuels, 28, going to come in and strip it out of Neely's hands and actually takes it out of his hands on the way down. Took it right away from him. Brissett has it picked off. Brissett's got to chase him down or D.J. White will score. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. D.J. White. He's long this season, 45. They're going to fake it. They're going to throw. That's the backup quarterback, Harrison Frost, and it was deflected away. Looked like North Carolina was ready for that as Duck was back. Boone's pass is tipped and intercepted. A receiver wide open in the flat. He probably walks into the end zone. Batted up in the air, Daddy Nicholas gets his hand on the ball and completes the play after grabbing the face mask the previous play.